Welcome back to another video, family. Make sure y'all mash the like button as soon as y'all come in the building. Probably Colorado, we back at it again with another episode. We all heard Paul Feinbaum made some comments about Coach Prom that I'm pretty sure y'all been hearing about. He's been all around social media. And I wanted to dig a little bit deeper into this whole situation and show some of the double standards that Paul Feinbaum has toward Deion Sanders compared to one of his SEC heroes, Mr. Kirby Smart, head coach of Georgia football. And if you know, you know Paul Feinbaum, which I did listen to his, his show a lot of times. He is a big SEC football homer. That's what he's about. He's a, a Nick Saban fan. Alabama, Auburn, the SEC. Remember, the same SEC that didn't want to give Coach Prime a job. The same Auburn that didn't want to give him that opportunity. Okay, so add those together now. Paul Feinbaum is really, really SEC. Coach Prime is Pac-12, getting a whole lot of attention about Colorado Buffaloes football, which Pac-12 SEC people is not feeling it. So Paul Feibum had to put out some comments which shows his bias toward the SEC and his double standards when it comes to two different coaches that both in their first year, he had two completely different things to say. Y'all check it out. So for Kirby Smart, he said, I just think Kirby Smart is a superstar. Um, Red also down there, he said, I think both him and some other coaches will be successful, but I think Kirby Smart will ultimately win championships. So a coach that never was a head coach is going to win championships, huh? But what did you have to say about Deion Sanders? I think the first couple of games will be a novelty. I couldn't imagine how he could turn this thing around completely. I don't think he has a very high ceiling. Everyone will be cheering for him. Losses will be masked as, as wins. We'll be watching Dion very closely, but if they get off to a 2-6 and six start, we won't be watching them. That's just the nature of college football. So, I don't think he has a very high ceiling, but Kirby Smart, who was never a coach, and if you know, you know, the real footballers know, the same defense that Deshaun Watson shredded when he was at Clemson. The same defense that gave up a whole lot of points. He became a head coach. And without any kind of experience coaching as the top dog on the football staff, he was already predicted by Paul Feinbaum to win championships. And he's a superstar in the making. He's the next next, next thing to Nick Saban and all this. But yeah, Coach Prime, who led the HBCU program to be one of the top teams in the FCS recruited a top class at Jackson State and has experience as being the top guy, the head coach, but yet <laughs> he doesn't have a high ceiling, huh, Paul Feinbaum? <laughs> That's crazy to me. It don't take Steve Urkel to understand that with the talent that Colorado is bringing in and the staff that they have and with UCLA especially USC, leaving for another conference, they're going to win games. Even with those two still being in the conference this past year, this upcoming year, they're going to win more than one game, Paul Feinbaum. So. But you got to understand that he has ties to the SEC. And by Coach Prime not being in the SEC, they have to throw salt on his name. That's just how it go down. Because right now, the now the Pac-12 is super hot. That's what everybody's talking about, the Pac-12. And it just makes the SEC look bad by knowing that Coach Prime wanted to go to Auburn, but y'all didn't want him. And look what he's doing at Colorado. Think about it, man. Y'all think about it. So their spokesman, who has the loudest voice in college football, one of them, has to go out there and downgrade and talk neg negatively about Coach Prime to put, like I said, salt on his name. It's all about the business. It's all about behind the scenes. 
it was expected that Paul Feinbaum was going to say this. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section. Make sure y'all like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm out.